Okay, before we get the boring bar set up, just want to give this a little chamfer. lead-in chamfer there. Might have to go over once we get the threading done, but uh, now we can set up the thread. So let me get my threading bar set up and uh, we'll get it in a holder and uh, we can start going at this. Okay, so I'm going to cut my threads on the back side of the uh, bore here. So that means I have to put the threading tool upside down and uh, I can keep my compound angled in the normal direction. And that's just going to allow me a little bit to, to sight down here. Now you can see I put some bluing here and then on the bore. And that silver spot there, that is the um, relief groove. So what I want to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to come to the end. And I'm just going to turn in on my compound here until I know I'm in that groove. Okay. And I'm going to go in a little further. All right. I'm in the groove now. And I'm going to turn in just to the point where... I go ahead and I catch the tip of that relief groove, which is right there, okay? And I'm going to set zero on a dial indicator on the carriage. So I know that I can disengage that, and we're at the beginning of that relief groove. Now, as we go deeper, we're going to go slightly forward, but this will give me enough room to be able to uh, go throughout that entire um uh, relief groove thickness. So we're going to start out on this side and as we advance our compound when we thread we're going to be advancing slightly uh, further and further uh, towards the front of that relief groove. So I'm going to just wind the compound back here. We're going to come out to the front. Now I'm going to touch off um, and I'm going to set up the other camera so you can see what I'm doing. You can see the handwork going on here. Okay. So hopefully you can see this. I have my compounds zeroed and set at a comfortable angle. I like to keep it horizontal here. And we're just going to come in and we're going to touch off just until we raise a chip. It's all right there.
check and see how we're doing here. Oop, that's the wrong one. Uh, what did I do with the plug? Okay. Starts, but she's a tight. So we got a little bit more to go. Not too bad there. Okay. Should be pretty close. Let's check the gauge. The gauge fits pretty good. A little bit of wiggle, which is what I want on the threads. So that way there, the register pulls it up nice and true. And also the end face. See how it fits on the spindle. Yeah, she goes on nice. Tiny bit, tiny, teeny, tiny bit of wiggle, but that that'll allow that um, register to um, pull up on that. Alright, that's right where I want it. Okay, so what I need to do now is do the register. And I have my dial indicator set here on the on the ways. And for me it's a one inch five hundred eleven thousandths diameter by about three hundred thousandths length. And that'll give me enough to clear the beginning of the first set of threads. So we're bottoming out on this face and not on the threads. Now, the threads, you want a little bit of wiggle in this so that you're not relying on the threads for your lineup, but this outside face and the register, okay? Now, you don't want it sloppy. You just want a slight, slight wiggle, so. touch right there. I'm going to set zero. And uh, 360. We'll just take 50 thousandths to start. screwing ourselves. So we're 1450.
just until those threads clear up. Depending on how deep you got. about it. Five eleven right there. Okay, I should clear it. So it's gonna come in for our extra 10. So now we can take the four jar off and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so here's what we got. There's our register. Nice chamfer. This outside edge is chamfered. And you can see the threads in there. And we thread on nice. And just for S and G's. We should technically match pretty close the run out we had on the four jaw. Alright, so we're within we're within five there, which doesn't really matter because now everything else, any other machining we're gonna be doing on the um, the spindle itself. Let me see if I can kind of reach. I don't know if this will reach in here. It might. A little bit without rubbing up against that. So you can see our bore there is also within five thousandths. Actually, it's within less than five thousandths. It's within three thousandths. And we, um, we left 100, uh, 50 thousandths clearance per side for a one inch rod. So now everything else that's gonna be done to this is gonna be done while it's on, its, on the spindle here. So what did I say we had? We had as farthest point about 
about 5,000. It's run out. Let's see if I can get this off. <clears throat> And I'm just doing this here to see, whoops, if our run out is repeatable. And it is. So what we'll do next is we'll just true up this outside just so you don't see any wobble and get all this scale off of here, make it nice and shiny. And then we'll face this front edge here. And then we have to um, make the internal taper for the uh, ER collet, and then we have to do the metric thread for the ER collet. Uh, so all that will be next.